So a few weeks ago, I made a video about like success, what defines success and stuff. But honestly, it was just messy. It was it was like not really put together very well, and um, like it, it it just didn't turn out like how I wanted it. So I'm trying again, working on the next step to get me in the direction of where I left off. Why? Why try to be better? Like, what motivates me to be better? What motivates me to try new things and, and grow? Because that motivation just isn't always there. So it makes me think, how do I track down that motivation? What I want to track down is what motivates me to get out of bed. Most of the time, it's little to no motivation. And that's how it is for most people, right? Right? Let me take you through an average week of mine. Just a week of like what, what mostly consisted of throughout my year. I wake up, shower, get dressed, rush to school, probably get there late, go home, shop online, watch something, sleep, wake up, shower, get dressed, rush to work, mop some floors, sleep, repeat. Most of the time, anybody with a cycle like this is bound to burn out, get depressed, and not enjoy life like they should. The heck is my hair doing? But just know if I went out to film or do something that I enjoy, I'd be out on time before the sun sets, before the sun rises. So recently I've been taking a different route, picking up old hobbies, anticipating my future, setting goals and finding out what life can truly be. Whatever is motivating me to do things, to work on myself and be better, I'd wanna know what it is, right? The only way you could ever know where you want your life to go is if you experience something beyond a screen, beyond somebody else's story, from your own eyes or feeling or experiencing something new. And recently for the first time in my life, I've been motivated to do stuff that I felt like I never had time to do. Something's always holding it back. Something's always holding me back. But this time around, there's no excuses. I'm literally doing the one thing that has motivated me since I was a kid, making videos. Whether I'm good at it or not, it's the one thing that I can see myself doing for the rest of my life. The one thing that really feels like it's coming from me. My video titled, What Defines Success, didn't start of what it came to be. It started with me being tired of doing the same routine every day. For years, I started writing the script about college and how success is only defined as somebody who, who went to college and how college isn't for me. And to be honest, it isn't. It's not made for me. I want to do stuff. I want to like create and like experience. And, like I like learning and all, but like, <laughs> you know? College is just a bridge or a ladder to the next step of being successful in the eyes of everybody else. It's an outlet to be part of society and get a job that requires a piece of paper. But college, it just wasn't the issue. It's the expectations. For some reason, it's easy for me to find comfort in my lows. Being lazy, staying in bed, being depressed, it's easier than doing things to fix it. My favorite part of a movie is when the character hits their low. Not because of the low itself, but thinking how are they going to overcome that low. Laying in bed all day without the desire to do anything is a weird low to experience when you experience it every day. At that point, is it laziness or a larger issue with a more difficult obstacle to overcome? I always hit a point where my motivation and energy to do things slips away because it's exhausting. It's exhausting because that motivation becomes less and less about me and more for what I should be. Success to me might not have the same definition as the next person. To me, it's less about materialistic things and more about myself. Since I was young, I've never enjoyed or been motivated by anything more than filming and making videos. From making movies with my brothers to making stuff on my own for YouTube, film has been a true hobby of mine my entire life. But there's just one problem with that. If I'm in a dismal state of mind, that passion doesn't exist. So if I want to follow my dreams, accomplish my goals, something has to change first. My mind is only clear when I truly feel like I'm doing something that's benefiting me mentally. If we're disinclined to go to college, but we're still doing so, we don't see the point, none of us. If we're working hours and hours without a single desire at all, there literally wouldn't be a point of working all those hours. But we do desire. What we want for ourselves is clouded by what everybody else has chosen for us. That's why I've picked up old hobbies, old things that I've loved as a kid but dropped because I stopped seeing the point when everybody around me is moving in the same similar direction. My motivation was buried in my childhood. As kids, we weren't told what we wanted. We knew what we wanted. We were ourselves. Motivation stems from your true self. 